NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell speaking out for the first time since the latest allegations of racial discrimination in the league. He called the claims that Coach Brian Flores made very disturbing. As we reported, the former Miami Dolphins head coach sued the NFL and three teams last week, the Dolphins, the Giants, and the Broncos. He alleges racial discrimination in the hiring process and that he was subjected to sham interviews. The NFL and the teams all deny the claims. Today, Commissioner Goodell addressed it in this annual State of the League news conference in L.A. He said the league will not tolerize, tolerate racism and that it must do better with hiring more diverse coaches. I think we've made a tremendous amount, a lot of progress in a lot of areas, but not at the head coach. And that is something that uh, is something we really have focused on to try to get the kind of results that we would expect. And we fell short of that by a long shot. We want to see um, black head coaches in the NFL and coaches of, of, of people of color uh, and eventually gender. Goodell also addressed bribery allegations. Coach Flores claims the Dolphins owner offered him a hundred grand for each game he lost in 2019 so that the team could get a better draft pick. Roger Goodell says the league will take a serious look into those claims. We will make sure that um, either our, if there were violations, that they won't be tolerated. When we know what those facts are and the impact it has on our game, we'll deal with it very seriously. The Dolphins owner, Stephen Ross, has denied the bribery allegations. CBC's Jane Wells with us now from SoFi Stadium. She was at the conference, at the news conference today. Lots to unpack here, Jane. How's Goodell going to handle the hiring issue? Well, uh, Shep, the commissioner says he may consider changing or even scrapping the Rooney rule. That's the rule that teams have to interview candidates of color for head coach. He also takes some personal responsibility for the lack of progress during his long tenure. But from black coaches to black owners, there are zero. So I asked him if that could change. Byron Allen is interested in potentially purchasing the Broncos. Are the other owners doing anything to facilitate a black owner? Yes, um, and I have been personally involved with this um, for uh, about three decades now of attracting um, minority owners, particularly black owners, into the league in an ownership position. Um, we have met with Byron um, a couple of times, um, and both myself personally, as well as other people of our staff. Uh, he is not uh, the only uh, individual that's interested in buying an NFL team that is black. Now, under NFL rules, a principal owner would have to put in at least 30 percent of the money. The Broncos are valued at an estimated $3.75 billion. So we're talking over a billion dollars this person would have to get together. And, Shall you know, Goodell also said the league will be investigating the sexual harassment allegations regarding the Washington commander's owner, Dan Snyder. Yes. Uh, Goodell said a team cannot investigate itself, and the commanders were doing their own investigation and may continue to do so, but he says the league is taking over that, bringing in outside independent investigators to look into these allegations. And also they're still investigating, as you mentioned, whether Steve Ross uh, offered Brian Flores money to lose games to move up higher in the draft. So I wanted to know if any of this happened, what is the worst thing the league could do to an owner? Is there a rule where the other owners could vote uh, an owner out and force him to lose the franchise. I do believe um, that the clubs do have the authority um, to remove an owner from the league. Ultimately, it's a, vo a league vote, I believe. Uh, we'll correct that if I'm incorrect. Now, an owner has never been forced out that way, though in 2017, Jerry Richardson of the Panthers sold under pressure after reports that he used inappropriate language and an alleged racial slur.